My name is Donna Duck. Welcome to Duck Talk with Donna, my discussion channel where I have a topic that I discuss. This video's topic of discussion is about some fast food that were cut from the menu that may or may not be your favorite. I know there's a lot of clickbait going on, but yet, here you are. I'm, I'm not like trying to be like, you know. I got you right where I want you. I'm just like, you know, it, it would mean the world if you continue to watch, even though it's kind of clickbait. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into this video. Uh, just to be like more, even more specific, more truthful. There, these are six popular fast food items that were cut from the menus this year. Uh, this article that I'm reading is from eatthis.com uh, and it was written by Matt. I can't say the last name, so I'm not gonna like butcher it. Um, so yeah, so, and I'll link this article in the description if you wanna read for yourself. But you know, you can stay too. So the first item that was cut from the menu were the salads at Burger King. Now I'm not even gonna lie, <laughs> I don't eat salads. Where's my salad? I forgot to order salad, oh my god. I mean, I've eaten, I eat some salads, but like, it has to be like a high quality salad. And honestly, Burger King doesn't seem like they would have some high quality salads. Based on the pictures, like, mm, I'm not, I'm not eating that. So like, I, and honestly, I didn't even know Burger King's had salads either. So if this was your favorite uh, salad, then... I'm so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. So In this day and age, you'd think a fast food restaurant would make more concerted efforts to offer fresher, healthier menu options. In some cases, that's been true. In others, like Burger King, the complete opposite took so they got rid of their salads. Now, um, honestly, the only thing that I really eat from Burger King is their Whopper with cheese, their fries, and of course I'll get like a Sprite or something. But like, honestly, I, I don't know what's on the menu. <laughs> so, um, all right, so the next item is another item at Burger King. Uh, the dairy items at Burger King were taken off the menu. Uh, so it says Burger King also decided to remove another portion of the food pyramid from its menu, putting several of its dairy items on the chopping block. Um, it says some of the things that they discontinued were the Sundays, whipped toppings, and chocolate milk. I, I didn't eat none of that. Like I, I never had a shake from them either. I assume their shakes are still on the menu, but like I, <laughs> I, I'm not sad. I'm just, I don't think it's really going to be missed unless you're eating at Burger King every day. All right, so the next item is from McDonald's that I am a little disappointed, I'm a little sad, but I understand. The $1 drinks at McDonald's are being discontinued. Uh, it says the dollar menu at McDonald's has seen more ups and downs than an elevator on the fridge. But this guy got some good uh, analogies in this article. But uh, with pricing and offering, offerings changing widely over the years, remember when dollar menu items actually cost a dollar? The good old days. Like honestly, it, it was great. It, it was great. Like Dollar Tree actually being a dollar, but now it's not. But uh, things gotta change. So. Whatever. Uh. So now the drinks. It doesn't say exactly the price, but I'll search it up and put it right here. So. All right, number four, the vanilla frosty at Wendy's. Yes. I didn't even have to read this article because like I just got, I was working at Wendy's not too long ago, um, but the vanilla frosty was taken off the menu to make room for the strawberry frosty, which honestly is not that great. Um, but fortunately, the strawberry frosty is a limited time thing and the vanilla frosty will be back. Uh, I don't know if they're bringing the strawberry frosty back, but I assume they would uh, next summer with the summer strawberry salad because that's also a limited time thing. So um, if if you like that strawberry frosty, get it while you can, because uh, it won't be it won't be there anymore. Um, also, it's not in this article, but I know I have a Wendy's exclusive because I just got done working at Wendy's. Like they look, I don't even work there anymore. But, you know, they really should be paying me right now, even though I don't work there. Um, but when Wendy's is getting a new breakfast item, which is French toast. So. I don't like French toast, <laughs> but I do know for a fact that they are getting French toast. So if you do like French toast, make sure you get a 
go stop at Wendy's. Look, I'm, I'm like the best. I'm making these promotions and I don't even work there. Like, I quit though. So I'm like, I was gonna say they need to hire me back, but I quit. So. Um, all right, so the next item is customization at Subway. Uh, so Subway used to be the kind of mix and match sandwich chain where you could have it your way, opting for whatever ingredients, dressing, meats, and cheeses you'd like. But if there's one thing we've come to expect from Subway, it's that it's willing to try just about anything to keep its sandwich empire running. Uh, enter drastic changes like overhauling the franchise system and offering a grab and go style of selections. If all that wasn't dizzy enough, Subway recently upended its entire menu format as part of its ongoing Eat Fresh Refresh campaign. The chain has begun to move away from menu customization. It's also known for instead opting for a straightforward menu of 12 sandwiches to be ordered by the number. It's a bold move, so here's hoping that Subway customers love the new Subway series sandwich enough to come to keep coming back. So honestly, it's like that's what they're made for. Like they're made for customizing Subway sub sandwiches. But I'm sure you can be like, hey, can you take this off number or whatever? And can you add number or whatever? Like add this onto it. So you can still customize it, but it's just like there are numbers now. And I'm sure it's like a maybe, I don't know. I don't know if the prices will be different. I honestly haven't been to Subway in a minute. So I might I might have to take a trip just to see how the changes been changed. And last, but and probably least, <laughs> not even gonna lie, is that Starbucks. They, I think it's a breakfast. I don't. I'm just gonna read this whole thing because I have no idea what's going on. Uh, while this recently nicked sandwich at Starbucks wasn't on around long enough to become a customer favorite, the surprising brevity of its tenure earns it a slot on this list of surprising fast food menu menu decisions. The chicken, maple, butter, and egg sandwich at Starbucks was billed as a limited time summer menu special, which seems weird in on itself, considering maple butter doesn't exactly scream summer. Uh, what's even weirder is that the sandwich has had a shelf life of less than a week. So it's, it's been, what, it's been, a, I don't even know what that means. Um, so whatever the sandwich was, it's gone now. If you haven't had the chance to try it, I don't think you missed out on much. Um, but, but look, I'm, I, I I don't know, maybe it's like PTSD or something. I don't know, but I, I got another promotion for Wendy's. Wendy's does have a maple bacon uh, chicken croissant that you can try. No, but seriously though, like they need to keep paying me. I'm out here promoting them like I'm still working there and I'm not. I don't know what it is, but like I got all the deets. If you want to know something, I, I'm pretty sure I know it. All right, so anyways, that's uh, the apparently some popular fast food items that were cut from the menu or at least changed um honestly am i sad no like i can go to walmart and get a two liter soda and that's like probably three larges at mcdonald's maybe two and some so it's not it's not like a i'm it's not like i'm sad you know? i i don't think that article was made made to make people sad but who knows uh i'm sure there'll be some new items coming to fast food restaurants like Wendy's like I, I'm gonna stop mentioning Wendy's I'm, if you miss what I said about Wendy's there's time steps you can go back but I'm stop I, I, I need to let Wendy's go like seriously I quit I, I need to let them go so anyways that's it for this video uh, if you like this video like the video subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell to be notified for further videos which will be soon and until the next video Oh, and don't forget to check the description box for more information about me.